Good morning, fishy folks. How we doing? Happy Fry Fry Friday. What you're looking at is a pretty much cleaned off workbench. <clears throat> Basically, I put the PVC parts here on a fish tank, so that doesn't really count, but everything else I took care of. So, here's a plan. I could put a 55, the drilled one I just got, which will go to right about here. And then I could put two 20s, and that would still give me a little room on the bench because the 55, as you know, is only about 12 inches deep. We'll call it 13. And that would give me <clears throat> about 12 inches of uh, space to put stuff. Uh, I know you're asking, what is the poster board for? I am going to put it in between uh, tanks because I don't want to break them down and paint them. So we'll see if that works and helps the fishies spawn. The fishies, by fishies I mean angels. And I have some new sponge filters. Uh, not my local fish store because believe it or not, as cheap as he sells fish for, his sponge filters are pretty pricey. I can definitely buy them cheaper online, but at a different local fish store that I don't like as much, these guys, I think, let's say I paid $36 and I got one, two, three, four, five, six filters, including text. That doesn't seem right. I thought they were cheap. Maybe I paid $30. I, I'm sorry. I paid $31. Oh, look. Is this the receipt? Yeah. <clears throat> so that's the receipt. $33 with tax 36 so they were the big ones were five bucks each and the little ones uh, No, the big the middle ones are five bucks each and the big ones were seven bucks each. You know, they weren't as cheap as I thought they were You know, I'm gonna have to go back and look at the prices on the shelf because I thought the prices on the shelf were much less I could be wrong I'm gonna have to go check that out Anyway, see what we got going on over here I did finish that second shelf and uh, I didn't put water in yesterday because I, when I clean the tanks, I use cold water and I didn't want to risk any cracking from, uh, from cold water and then warm water from my water storage. But that you can see that's how much water change already happened on this side. So you can see 10%, uh, 10%, one gallon of water added to the tank. This one looks a little light, perhaps. But that's, I mean, that's pretty much how much water gets changed every day in these tanks. You can see there's water still dripping from the lines. I'm sure if I put some sort of valve in, I could fix that, but I don't know that I want to do that. Eh, no big deal. All right, guys, that's it for now. Um, I think that's it for now. I don't know if there's any more fry. I haven't actually even looked at the tanks yet. Oh, I did move the angels into the dirty tank so you can't see them. Now I should clean this tank because because uh, you are gonna wanna see the angels. But I think they were, I thought they were a little cramped for that, that five gallon, plus I needed to drill it. So, yeah, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do here. It wasn't as difficult as, it was, as I thought it was gonna be cleaning off that bench. So I have four five gallons, which I wanna use for angel fry or ram fry, if I get any ram fry ever. And my plan was to put them up there, but that colony of swords in that 20 long and that colony of platies in that 20 long in the corner, they're doing fantastic. I don't really want to move them. Like I haven't done anything to that tank and look how many babies. There were four adult fish in there when I got them. And those were the fish that were donated to my fish store that I might, might as well have been donated to me. They were so cheap. <clears throat> and look how much fry is in there already. So I could just throw this on the auto water change system. It's got a drain in the back. I could just simply plumb it down to this drain. Uh, you might be asking why this is like this. It was just an extra piece I had to uh, just to extend this a little bit and let air come in for the drain. Um, and I just want to extend this in case when I fill these, there was too much uh, too much flow. Uh, it would give it a little cushion. I don't think that's the case though with just a drip of water coming in A small stream of water coming into six tanks that pipe should handle it 
Now, so the thought process originally was to put four five gallon tanks up here and use those as breeding. And I still might do that. But then what am I gonna do with this 20 long? I don't know. I thought about putting it on the bench also, but that takes up a lot of real estate. You know, in, in one 20 long space, I, mean, I guess I could probably put two 20 longs. How long is a 20 long? Like 30 inches? I might not fit there with the, with the 55. The other thought process is I could just, since I haven't done anything with this tank and I haven't bought a new plastic, <clears throat> I could just take this down, put it in storage, and put the 55 up here uh, after I buy two new blocks, which I have to go buy today. Just because then I can fit 20, three 20s down there instead of two and a lot of wasted space. Lots of things to think about in the fish room planning. Plus I have other things I gotta get done. It's already, today is Thursday. Which means my vacation ends in a few days. 19 days goes fast. Haha, uh -huh. 19 days in a row. All right guys, I'll be back. All right, fishy folks, half a day is done in the fish room. And here's what we got going on. We have auto water change the top tank. I'm gonna, I decided I'm gonna leave that tank here because these guys are doing quite well spawning. I'm missing a female, I think. Anyway, I did try to take as many fry and juveniles out here. You can still see there are some fry in the bottom. They're just too small for me to see when, you know, as you move the, the tank around, all that dirt on the bottom, you know, kind of clouds the water. Um, so this tank was already drilled and I just had the drain facing up in the back with a tube on it. It's actually still dripping because I can't really get back here and tighten how I want uh, without moving some stuff around. So I have to do that. Um, but I decided I'm going to let mom and moms and dad stay in this tank and do their thing. And I will pull the fry as I can. What I've done over here is I've separated the red guys. See all these. What's wrong with my chair? As best as I can. There might be some some that I want to pull out of here, although I don't see any now. And then these guys over here, the more the more uh, white colored ones. <coughs> these guys look like they actually have stripes. Um, I figure if I can get another strain out of those four adults, that would be pretty good. Um, these are the filters that I made from the China filters. <coughs> Excuse me, the the uh, sponge filters that stick to the wall. <coughs> oh, dry throat. That I'm not really a fan of. <clears throat> so what do we got? We got these six tanks. I'm gonna leave those guys there. <clears throat> so I have to decide what I'm gonna do with my fry tanks when I get fry tanks. When I make fry tanks. Maybe I can put them here, but ideally I would like them up high <clears throat> or someplace where it's warm. I still have to, I was at Lowe's of course today and I didn't buy the blocks I need because I'm a dummy. All right, well folks, it's lunchtime and being a fat guy, I'm hungry. So I'm gonna go eat. <clears throat> I just wanna give you a quick update about this uh, rack that I built. Um, let me just show you this backwards plumbing over here. Don't do this at home. By the way, I cracked my phone screen, so I'm pretty pissed off about that. So I took, so that, that, this is a good lesson. That bulkhead is thread, slip thread, I mean. So it's slip on the inside, threaded on the outside. What's threaded on the outside is a barb, a right angle barb. So all I did was I put some, an extra piece of vinyl tubing I have on it, and I have that running 
connected down there with some, basically I just heated that vinyl tubing up, stretched the PVC into it, and then put the PVC down here. And there's my drain. Yeah, we'll see how that works. All right, guys, I'm going to eat. Well, fishy folks, the workbench was clean for a while. Uh, but projects happened and eggs were laid. Can't really see because I just put the methylene blue in there. I used my handy dandy aquarium co-op four in one measuring spoon. Uh, but so you can see there are eggs. I don't know, I counted about a gajillion eggs in there. So that's, that's a lot. Uh, we got the air stone blown over them, plus the methylene blue. Hopefully that will keep. I'm gonna turn that air stone down. That will keep fungus away. We get a nice high hatch rate. That might not be enough. We'll leave it like that. Let's see what happens. Uh, they weren't there this morning, and I came down after lunch because I'm a fat guy and I gotta eat. And uh, boom, there they were. I immediately sit, put this tank here because I had good luck with raising eggs here that first time this tank is actually drilled and you can see it is leaking which because there's nothing hooked to it which leads me to believe that you know that's not glued right there those joints aren't glued that one so I don't know if the other joints are glued yeah the other joints are glued it's just that joint that's not glued anywho I gotta get a, uh, a tube on there and get that draining set up my other water change system for this um, I may not actually turn it on until they're, they're wigglers so I can start cleaning out that methylene blue all right guys it's the update for now